Okay. So this is gonna be my eighth video I've been making on this because I got iOS glitches. This is um I've been finding glitches with Windows, Android, and iOS. I'm just good at finding them. I don't know why. And um, this is gonna be the video. I got two of them for you. And this is the blind people app or the blind people function on the iPhone that's almost completely unusable, which they shouldn't have, because I'm sure a blind person wouldn't fork out 600 bucks on an iPhone, which I'm sad I'm not using my iPhone because it's charging. I gotta use this piece of shit. But yeah, it's an uh, unusable uh, feature, even when it's not glitching out. And so imagine how bad it is when it is gl glitching out. You can't put in the passcode. One of the main problems with this function here is people can't actually put in the passcode and their iPod gets disabled or the iPhone gets disabled. I'll demonstrate that right now. Enter passcode, enter passcode, enter passcode. Enter passcode, you faggot. Okay, so this iPod is not the problem. It's actually the voiceover. And um, you'll see what the glitch is with the voiceover. As you can tell, the, the voiceover is a glitch in general right, right away. But it actually is a glitch for it. Now, as you can see, it actually is working. And um, cancel, please. Thank you. Once I tried canceling, but it actually turned off the phone for some reason, or the iPod. Okay, so it's actually it actually turned off Voiceover on its own. I don't know why it did that, but here's the first glitch right here. So we triple click the uh, Voiceover to turn it on and off it's about six times in a row. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What the hell? Voiceover, on. Voiceover wasn't turning on. That's kind of weird. It, that's, I guess that's another glitch right there. It doesn't work all the time. Even though it doesn't work properly, even when it is working. So, that's not the glitch. So here, I'm going to tap this like six times and you'll see the glitch. Now, I need to, I didn't, I need to demonstrate this again because... You'll know. You'll know. So it's working, right? Cancel. 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 Fucking piece of shit. 1225. Okay. So here's the glitch. I really want to do this glitch because I'm so sick of hearing voiceover. You gotta triple click the home button like six times. Or more. You'll see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, Two, three. Okay, there. I think we accomplished what we needed to accomplish. Okay, at first I was just tapping it repeatedly, but then I tapped it six times. I typed it three times, uh, three bursts uh, first time, then I did it three times after a fraction of a second of waiting. So that's basically just turning it on and off, and we accomplished our goal. It makes the screen completely unusable. As you can see, the screen's completely unusable. And the screen is completely unusable. That's after six taps. After waiting a second for the first three taps, then tapping it three times again, the screen's now unusable because of the shitty function we call voiceover that doesn't even work when it is on. God, blind people, you don't need this piece of shit. They wouldn't buy an iPhone if they're blind. It's just Apple. Steve Jobs is gone. It's turning to shit. So the reason we got to fix this is you need to tap... Uh, Typically, this is the same amount of times that you did before when it wasn't glitched. So let's do it again. One, two, th two, three. One, two, three. It's not doing anything. And then there's voiceover. Now, one, two, three. And there we go. So we're back on. Come on. Now, here's the second glitch right here. So, what you need to do for the second glitch is you can't be on a song or any app for that matter. You lock the screen, you unlock it, but you see, if, it, if I'm on an app of any sort, if I try doing it, it's, it involves the uh, home button or the power button, whatever. If you, uh, okay, one, one, two, three. Okay, you gotta press it slightly after you, after you press the last button on the keypad. So press five and off. It doesn't do it, right? So I need to unlock it. Go home, it can be on any one of these pages right here. Okay, you lock it, you go here, one, two, three, oops, three, and then get ready for the last one right after you press the uh, lock button, or slightly after, I'm sorry. So five, lock, and there we go. 
So let's do it again here. One, two, three, five, lock. There we go again. It's back at the lock um, screen here. And I'm going to just take the power cord out for a second so I'm not fucking around here. So let's put the passcode in. Just going to unlock it. Good again, just to show you I'm not doing any shit here. And uh, you can try this for yourself. It's pretty easy. One, two, three, five, lock. And then you're back here again. So those are the two glitches. I'm sorry it took so long to demonstrate them. The voiceover is just a bastard even when it is working. So, yeah, it barely works when it is working, so it's kind of hard to demonstrate the real glitch in it. So, the real glitch for the voiceover is it, it makes your screen completely unresponsive after triple-clicking it, like, six times in a row. But you need to wait, like, a fraction of a second after triple-clicking it the first time or else it won't work. I'm sure you'll be able to manage doing the first one. And the second one is just the, um... Uh, the, uh, what do you call it? The lock screen one. It's, uh, you gotta have a passcode slightly after typing in the last code. You press the lock button and uh, it should put your, your phone or your iOS device back to the lock screen. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing the voiceover glitch just because it's a bitch to even get the, to do the glitch because voiceover is fucked up even when it's not um, in doing the glitch. So I wouldn't recommend doing that one just because it just pisses you off to actually get to get it to do anything. And sometimes you can actually have trouble getting out of the, the voice control or um, actually using your phone. It's completely useless, and I don't even know why it's on there. So I wouldn't recommend doing the voice control one. I just thought I'd show you it because it just makes your screen unresponsive. And the second one I'm sure all of you can do, which is the um, lock screen one. So thanks for watching, and I'll keep you guys posted. I'll put, keep you guys posted with the Android as well. I haven't used it for a while just because I'm not into it. Because i got my iPhone over there. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll keep you posted. You can try them out if you want to. It's taking a risk if you're going to try the voice control, but you can do it anyways. I wouldn't recommend it, like I said, because it'll give you a headache and the thing's a bastard. And, um, yeah, it's basically unusable. So thanks for watching, and see you guys later.